Hello everyone, my name is Alberto August and I'll be facilitating this session. This session is entitled Access Google Classroom and Creating Your Google Classroom. Creating classes in your Google Classroom. So, let's begin. So, considering you have a Google account, you need to now access your Google Classroom. Now, Google Classroom is, an mount, is a mounting platform where your students will be able to mount the assignments or activities that you assign to them. So, this is a wonderful, wonderful platform here. Okay, so where do we get Google Classroom? First of all, we need to go to our Google app. So you log on to your email as per normal and you click here on Google applications. You click Google apps and you will see the down menu. If you don't see Google Classroom there, you might need to scroll down and look for Google Classroom. Okay, so click on Google Classroom and that is how you access Google Classroom in your Google app through your email. And just to show you, if you like quickly, while this is loading, you can actually bookmark Google Classroom. So here's a little bookmarker. Bookmark the Google Classroom so that you can have it on your tab so that you don't always have to log in and go to your email. It's readily available there for you. Okay, so now that we've accessed our Google Classroom, we want to now create our classes. If you notice, I already created one, two, three, four classes here and I'm going to create two more. Easy to create your classroom. All you need to do is to go to the plus sign here. It says to create or join a class. For you, the teacher, you will create a class. When a student sign in, they will have join a class and I will share with you later how to get the code for your students to join each of your class. If you're at the primary school level and you're a primary school teacher, you want, and we teach all the subjects, unless you're doing subject teaching, you want to lay out all your subjects nice and neatly, you know, so that they can follow and go into the respective classes. If you are a high school teacher uh, or, a, or a teacher teaching, so doing subject teaching, you'll want to lay out by classes, not the name of subjects, but but by classes okay so very important it's all depending on your unique situation so let's create a class here's the add button i click on the top right click add i'm going to say create a class i will create a class there we go so normally in the name of the class i'm just i'm a primary school teacher so i'm just going to put in let's say this is going to be hfle hfle one of our um core subjects and the section, I don't know what section. I'm just going to put Alberto August section. We don't have a section. I'm just going to put my name there, um, Alberto August. Um, and you will have sections. For example, if you're teaching at the high school, you might have section one, section two, section three, depending on your class. Or if you're teaching at junior college. The subject, again, I'm going to just put HFLE. Um, that's, that's the subject. For you, for your class name, if you're if you're doing stand um, in the high school, you might want to put first form HFLE for the class name, or you can just put one red, one green, one blue if your class has a name as such. The room number, I don't have any room number. I'm just going to put my name here, Alberto August room. If you have a room 13, room 14, then you can go ahead and put the room number. And that's basically what we do to create a class. I will click on create and voila my class is being created okay it will take just a couple seconds to populate okay as we go along okay so that's the first thing i'm going to do is to create my classroom and i'm now adding a class to my there we go and it's going to pop up there but if you see this don't get scared that's okay what this does it simply provides you with the class code here's the class code if you click here, you will see, so you see H, um, HFLE for Alberto. The class code is there. You can maximize that. There we go. You copy the class code. Okay, you copy this class code. You can have in one WhatsApp message or you can have in your notes um, for all your math, language, arts, science, social studies. You send the class code to your students and or to your parents' WhatsApp and they will sign in and join a class and they will be able to join through this. So you can copy the link, 
or you can share with them the class code for them to join the class okay so that's how you join the class so now when you see this in here you're fine you are ready tomorrow the next session and we're going to talk about how you can how you can populate the information in google classroom today we're only creating the classes there are some fun stuff that you could do in your class you can select a theme you can you don't need that background if you want to add a picture you can change that theme there i don't know if you want to put uh if you like uh, tea if you like uh, whatever you like there are a couple of themes here that are suggested under different topics under math under english okay so you decide how you want their other themes um this is an hfle it has to do with health and family life so i might i don't know i'm just going to check um do um ah family life, family taking care of themselves okay so i'm just going to put a nice little theme there and change it to purple and i will apply that select the class theme and i can apply that there okay so it changes it for me you can also upload a photo if you don't want that you can upload a photo for you to make that into your class maybe it's your classroom door maybe it's a photo of your school or your school logo you can create it there okay so that is how you create your class you have access to the class code there for you to share with your students okay now uh, just one more one more uh, um, option i want to show you as you go ahead and create your classrooms here we go we go to classes okay you can see all classes again let me show you where i did that i will go back to let's say language arts here okay um i you know all of them on the left hand side you will see three little horizontal bars you click on horizontal bars and you click on classes and that's where you have all your classes or you can see your classes individually classes there we go so i have all of them a good thing is to organize your class let's say in the morning you have language arts first you see so you want your children to follow this in a sequence manner so you hold down on language arts and you could shift it to the left language arts is the first subject i teach in the morning the second subject that i always teach is in mathematics so i'm going to drag this over there science is the third subject that i teach in the afternoon on monday wednesday let's say tuesday thursday i do social studies so you can shift these around see i'm shifting them around and hfle i have last on friday so it helps you to organize so uh, so so your subjects are not all over the place so the students know that these are well organized well lined up for you okay so that is what i wanted to share with you in terms of organizing creating your classroom and finally if you don't want the class and you're done with a particular class there's an archive here you can archive your classes okay so if you are done with the class at the end and you want to archive that's easy you just go to the you just go to the to the classroom there and you can place it in what you call archive it will archive this class meaning it will put it in there. it won't delete it maybe next year you want it or you want to bring it back to just refresh it for your next group of students so you don't have to create all your activities again how wonderful is that okay so let's recap how do we go about creating your classes you log on to the google apps in your on the right hand side you find classroom and you create your classroom then to add a class there's a little add class button there you add a class you create the class student will join a class with the class code that you will share after you add the class to your uh, then uh, of course there's a there will be a class code you have the class code you share this class code with your students and they will be enrolled in your class the next session we are going to talk about how do you populate the activities in your google classroom do enjoy do explore you all have a wonderful wonderful day